everybody, it's your boy D-Ray and welcome back to another episode of Water to Wine. Today's the day. If you saw my last video that I posted last week, it was just a little quick announcement that today we are doing something a little different. We are going on a little field trip. Um, as I told you, my friend, Char will be joining us again. And I was supposed to have two new guests, my best friends, Marcus and Shekinah. Unfortunately, Marcus can't join us today because he had some other things to take care of. But Shekinah is still joining us. I'm actually waiting on her to come now. As always, but I was running behind too. Anyways, we'll also have movie my um, So this is what happened. My cousin, who's also in the business with me and Char, he was like, "When we gonna get a chance to be on Water the Wine? You already had Char on there, and Char coming back for an episode, another episode. When I'm gonna be on there?" So my cousin Cornell and Dion possibly could be joining us. I don't know just yet. They didn't confirm but was begging to be on the show. Anyway, but I have to go to the office actually to pick up Char. So we'll see if they're gonna come along. So stay tuned for that. But yes, I am excited because we are going to St. Augustine down to the San Sebastian Winery. Now, for those of you that follow me on Facebook and Instagram, you know that I went there back in February and I went through the whole tour and everything and did the wine tasting. And at the end, they leave you to go back to the little wine, where they have all the wine laid out, and you can purchase a bottle. And I actually purchased one that I really liked. This one right here is called Cream Sherry. I bought it, and I came home, I kept it for a couple days, and then I did a video on my Facebook and Instagram, basically doing a wine tasting. And that kind of kicked off this whole thing. I got a lot of good responses from it. People was like, so are you doing a YouTube channel soon? And I was like, hmm, maybe. So here we are. So like I said, I'm excited because I have not had a bottle of this since. So I'm gonna get a bottle of this. I might get two, depending on if they, if I don't find anything else that I'm really into. So we will be getting this. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode. All right, y'all, come on in. All right, you guys. The first guest is here. Hey. Say hi. Hey, y'all. This is Shekinah. If you don't know, now you know. Now you know. We ready. We got to go pick up Char. So come along. So we are picking up Charlotte. I hear her where she is. There she goes. Hi, Char. Hi. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Say hi, Kiara. I want to be on there. Yes, this is your five seconds of fame. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they are actually joining us. Remember, I told you about the people that we weren't sure if they were joining. Let's go, baby. Everybody say hi, Cornell. What's going on, y'all? I'm ready for this water to wine. Let's get it. So, yeah, that's Cornell. Can you come? Oh, you got a point. I got a point. You going to? I don't know. I mean, I mean, Say hi, Dion. Hey, sugar. Hey. Uh -uh. All right. I want to go. I'll do my part. This is going to be a very interesting. All right, so we're about to leave. Somebody shouldn't even be on the show since they've already been on the show. Oh, here we go. You want to go? I'm a guest star. Okay, I'm a return guest. 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 Okay, to St. Augustine. So we will see y'all there. Peace.
I'm a Pinot Noir. Okay. What kind is that? I like Pinot Noir. <laughs> Pinot Noir. <laughs> is that how you pronounce it? Pinot Noir. Noir or something like that. Pinot Noir. <laughs> yeah, that one is the one I never can pronounce. Yeah. Pinot Noir. Yeah. Okay, because I'm more of a red wine drinker. Oh no. So he said, take a sip. Uh -huh. What's this? Take one first sip, then taste that. And then take the second sip, and then you really taste the wine. And that's how you enjoy your wine. Because look, her last episode, y'all know I don't like no Chardonnay. Okay? Exactly. They made me into a little believer. A little believer, a little bit. A little bit. But we still don't like it. But it's still good, but it's still better than you. I'm going to do the oak. And it'll have this really strong buttery oak flavor. Yeah. Okay. So he got to do the Chardonnay yeah, first. I missed some. This is the Chardonnay. Let me try it. Make sure you break it down into two or three little sips. Your second sip is going to taste different than the first. I mean, you probably can. The next one is Cabernet. I don't waste one. It's a light body Cabernet. Okay, let me try that one. Let's try that one. Oh, I'm definitely trying to try the Cabernet because I love red. No, one little sip. One little sip. That was your one little sip? Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't. Yeah, sorry. Do two or three little sips. You want to do two or three little sips so you can taste it. Let's try it again with the other one. Right, well, and this is definitely red. red. So that, with a little cheese, one you just taste this would be on. What, what is this? Definitely, Cabernet. definitely. You got I like any red wine. Cabernet, so. Cabernet. it's a cab. This is peanut butter. We like the cab. Mm -hmm. And it's the cab. Yeah. So, so yeah. Cheese. 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 No, sir. You dump that. You don't like it? <laughs> what is that? It's cab. 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 I like the cab. Oh, I did not do two sips. No, look. So, Sean. Again. Really does change. This is the. Now, this is the cab. Yeah, the second sip was nasty. The first one. We can say the the, no. the, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, like, I, like I like the Cabernet. What is it? I like that one. Cabernet uh, Sauvignon. Yeah, no. Sauvignon. See, I was almost mm -hmm. right last time. Mm -hmm. I love yeah, Cabernet like Sauvignon, that. so I like any red wine. Dry yeah. now. Well, that one's a white. Mm -hmm. well, Wait, which one is that? That was number four. Okay. okay. Yeah. I like that one. Well, then you have to head upstairs. Upstairs, you're going to have Rosa, Vintner's White, Vintner's Red. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do like. And those are the Muscadine wines. Those are sweet and fruity. Yeah. Right? So you only offer the three at your three, Right. We'll do the three dry here, okay. and then you have upstairs. That's perfect. So my favorite was the Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Yeah, Chardonnay. Actually, Chardonnay. yeah, Chardonnay. and I'm not a Chardonnay believer, but it was really good the way yeah. you told us to taste it. I, I like it. The yeah. Chardonnay was good. Thank you. Probably, so for that. Maybe because it stands the best. Right, you guys. So we are headed upstairs to the next tasting spot. What are we trying here? This is a rosa. Rosa. Is that like a plant? No, muscadine grapes. Oh, muscadine. I love muscadine. Now that's good. Yeah, this is good. And it goes with everything. You know, if you're going to someone's house for dinner and you don't know what you're serving, that goes with everything. I have to do this one. This is the rosa. That's good. It's good. Rosa is good. This one's good. This tastes like the little bullets off the vine. That's exactly what the bullets are. That's exactly what it is. The bullets are muscadine on grapes. Come on. That's the Vintner's White. Number eight. Which one is this? Vintner's White. It's going to be comparable to a Moscato. It's going to be a nice, sweet, white Moscato. It's not as sweet. I like it because it's not as sweet because I'm getting away from mine. What is he doing? He's pumping some ruby port. Oh. Out of the out of the barrels for you to bottle it. And oh, that big resistance. Right. This barrel's age are four. I like the second one better, I think. Oh, oh, barrels, barrels. 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 How old are the barrels? The the barrels. We, we use the barrels. We, I can tell you we age them for about just a year, a but as far as the age of the barrels mm -hmm. themselves. That's enough. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay, which one is that? Vintner's White. Okay. What number is that? Eight. Eight. The Vintner's White is very good. Hmm. And this is the Vintner's Red. Yeah. Okay, so 
What do you guys want that's yours? Ooh, it's very These are all online. All Anything you're drinking here is ours. <laughs> the only thing that's not ours is that paint station, <laughs> that little station over there. Uh -huh. I don't think I really like um, this. Let me just sell it. Yeah. Yeah. Those are some imported drives from California. Really? Anything. Our vineyards are in Claremont, Florida. We own Lake Ridge. It's like we got like a sour taste. That's where it's are. Right. Yeah, that taste kind of like Which number is this? This is the bread, which is I've tried all of them. Yeah. How the heck you try all of them that quick? Because I dust this. Oh, excuse me. Dessert wine is like port. Port and cream sherry. Cream sherry, right? Port cream sherry is my favorite. They're 19% alcohol. Yes, y'all some wine drinkers. Yes. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm stepping, dipping my foot. Exactly. I'm trying to. Walk out on that cream sherry. We're going over there, though. <laughs> thank you, ma'am. Right, thank you. you. Have a great day. You too. Behave yourselves now. Hi, how are y'all doing? You need a little woozy. I'm a light. I'm a light. I'm a light one too, girl. I'm trying to pray. Hi. You know what this looks like? Never mind. Who is this here? I like my picture. I like the I already know the drill. This one is my favorite. Look, I know the drill. If I find around, right? Cream sherry. If you guys just keep moving, cream sherry. That's my favorite, y'all. Cream sherry. Cream sherry? Yeah. Which one we try first? All right, so I'm going to get you guys started with our cream sherry. Okay. This is what you like, right? I want to let you guys know before I have you guys sample these is that these both of these wines are fortified, which means that we've added a little bit of brandy to them. So, oh, not only they're gonna be I pretty sweet. It. Yeah, they're gonna be pretty sweet, but they're gonna be strong too. So, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We gonna eat good. I guess like after this. There you go. I was gonna say you guys better like sober up after this one. So. That's why you say the best for last, oh, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's, it's, it's smell like the wine that we. I mean, the liquor that we had oh, the shot it. at the house. Oh yeah, the chocolate. Chocolate. Mm. Mm. There you go, go. Okay. I, yeah. I taste it. Yeah. I taste all that. That's a good wine to cook with. Oh, absolutely. Great cooking. You cook wine. some good chicken. Yeah, you know some good. Oh, yeah. You know a lot about wine. Mm -hmm. You know good chicken? Mm -hmm. Yes, I love wine. Mm -hmm. so this is why I wanted to jump on the wine show, because I love wine. <laughs> so I was... okay. no, <laughs> Look, this would be no, good with some chicken to cook with some pork. Yeah. Yeah. Pork and sherry is real good cooking. Oh, yeah, yeah. My one cook is good. Yeah, I like whiskey. That's what real good cooking. Yeah, you marinate your chicken and cook it with it a little. That one wasn't my favorite. With that chicken, see? Yeah. Now, I will say this is a, the sherry is a great one to add into things too. Uh -huh. So, like on top of cooking, it's a good like bisque wine, but also if you like um, if you like Irish coffee, you know, something like that, you put oh, it in your yeah. coffee. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look. Mm -hmm. Now, this next one I have for you guys is our ruby port. Mm -hmm. This one's gonna be about as strong, but sweeter and more fruity. Okay, port. That's what I'm talking about. Like more fruity. There you go. Yeah. I need, I need more fruit. Was that that I just had? That was number eleven. This, yeah. this next one is number twelve for you guys. Again, it's the ruby port, and it's actually the one that you guys. Uh, it's made. me. Yeah. In the barrel room you just sat, this is the one that's aging in this barrel. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. And what's this? It's good. Right? It, it's good. Like this it is. It is. This is good cooking wine. Me and Derek, we need to cook when I wine. We're talking about cooking last time. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What number is this? This one's number 12. Yeah. Now, how do you guys feel about this one? Robitussin. It does look good. But we should. Yeah, pretty much. Robitussin right is great. Rosa is winning. Purple. Right now. Oh, oh, that's a good one. That's one of my favorites. Rosa. Rosa yeah, is definitely. That's Waukesha. Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't know. What did that walk? Tastes like community. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I think this is the last, the last one. Alright, so this is the video room that I wanted to go to. Last time I didn't get a chance to watch the video, but I'm going to do it this time. So, it's just a little video they tell you about, I guess, how their wine is made. A little history about the San Sebastian wine. Made. So we're going to sit here and watch it.
Which one was your favorite? Uh, I'm gonna go with the rosa. The rosa? Yeah. The mustard eye. Great. Mustard, mustard, mustard eye and great. Mm -hmm. So back to my childhood, my grandma used to have this little vine yard in the front yard had these bullets on it. You know, the hood called bullets. You know, so we used to eat about four or five of those. You ate them until the mouth started to itch. And then when that taste, when I tasted it, hit my taste bud, it took me back down to nine years old. You know, you come back from the National Library. Get <laughs> How about you? Definitely the rose. Okay. The bullet. It's really called the rose. The mustard eye. You know, when you're here, you have to say the proper word. Mm -hmm. So the mustard eye, right? I love that one. That one was the best. Okay. Kiara, what was your favorite one? The rose. Okay. Charlotte. Surprisingly, folks. Um, as y'all know from last episode. I hated Chardonnay, but this made me a believer that you have to get the un -oak, the un -oak Chardonnay. That's what made it very different. I like that one, and then I like the red muscadine, because y'all know I'm a killer for that red wine. <laughs> All right. The muscadine. Like, All right, I got to my book. Which one was your favorite? Oh, I was yeah. in Rosa. 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 I think somebody from Hawaii. I said, girl, I think the first time I seen somebody from Hawaii. Mm -hmm. I said they cost a living high. Okay. So you didn't get your bottle. They had $800 metric. Oh, I'm trying to decide. I know I'm getting the green share. That was good. No, that That's last good. Good. Yeah, good. good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Put it in food. It's a. Yeah. Y'all come back. I can see that. I can see that. But it tastes like a liquor. Like, it tastes like a shot. That's what I said. I like it because it reminds me of Prime. Yeah. It's him. <laughs> He's the right problem. <laughs> no, but it was good for real. It was good. So, for the port and the sherry, which was the third wine, they're very good for cooking. Like, they're sweet if you like a really sweet wine, but if you want to cook with it, use your sherry and a um, port. It is poured over that chicken meal knife, think about it with some pasta, like the Italian food. Because it's good. He'll be about ready to eat. Darius on his shows. <laughs> hey, by the end of it, I'm, so we be drunk in the middle. He had a lint and stuff at the bottom of his oh, beard and he's pulling his stuff. You know what I'm saying? Look at me. That's hilarious. And, uh, and, I'm, up. and I'm Braxton. Ah, you, Bra you are Braxton. Braxton Get closer. Is, <laughs> you should be <laughs> on the couch with a pillow or something like right that. The dog. Oh, okay, <laughs> stop showing out. Wait. Never coming back. Well, he the one put me on the wine. No We're not going to be drink. invited back. I'm coming back. <laughs> Look. Y'all on probation. We are? Look. Well, see, that's okay, what happened. With, that, right. Listen, that's what happened when you Look, know it's real wine. Rewind. I normally get the $2 wine. <laughs> yeah, this is the, okay. this is the 13 15 that barefoot? <laughs> no, it's not. It's the hour. We ain't going to really tell me what $2 wine I get. Well, that's what we had in the office. We ain't going to go to Walmart. We are sophisticated. We go to all the wine. Oh, Aldi. Aldi got good cheap wine. Yeah. So two dollars and two cents. It is good cheap wine. The two dollars and nine cents. Question: Did y'all have a headache the next day after you drank that the wine? The next day, that we was had enough. Yeah. No, we didn't. Some, some, some people good. had enough. Some people, some people had enough. They had about yeah. five cups. I was drinking Heineken. We had three cup, three bottles of Moscato. I was on, I was on thugging high. And it wasn't that many people there. We still got a bottle left right now. It was, it, 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 how much wine it? do you think is in the bottle? It's four, four glasses. Four glasses. Four, 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 four of glasses. these glasses. Yeah, four. Oh, this is like a glass of wine about right here. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. How it many is. glasses? I really like a bottle of wine. How it, many it, glasses if you drink a wine proper wine bottle of wine, wine. Bottle. if you drink a proper glass. Oh, yeah, it's more. Buy your, two or three. One person? How many yeah. glasses? Yeah, it's like no. if you drink a proper glass, it's like this much. I really don't know. Glass of wine. So probably like five cups. But we don't drink proper. We're gonna show you. We drink it like this. I don't really pour the correct portions. So you don't pour the. I like my glass full. I'm for real. He talking about. What he say? He pulled it long. He called it a plug. I did. It's Rosa. It's Rosa. Don't need no ass. You can stay in the middle. Sorry, we trying not to cuss on the camera. This is what happens Look. when you bring black pine. Well, first of all, I am from black pine, okay? To the more sophisticated we say, They say the black pine for a minute. Okay. She's going to watch the <laughs> Well, we're not going to go there. Uh, 
First of all, my grandmother lives off of 11th and Tyler, okay? It's over by Stanton. So, the so that's Hilltop. Ghetto Tyler. <laughs> that's Hilltop. <laughs> oh my Ooh, god. 1606 West 11th Street. That's what I'm from. What's your mama name? Y'all right down there? Wait, your mama say? Like over Tyler Street? What Tyler and what? Look at me, how do you do that? Me you? Look at you at the damn buck. Jeez. Every time she took a sip of wine, she was like, this is going to give us a steak. That's what I really wanted. A steak. A steak. Yes. This is all they had. All this. Well, that burger is like a steak burger. No, it's not, Charlie. They got prime, they got real prime rim and it tastes like a turkey burger. What you got, Chicago? Chicken and nacho fries. Better than mine. I have this raspberry sauce. I asked what pairs well with my wine. It's too sweet for me, but it's okay. Everybody is sweet, especially this one. This will say my people got it all back. The burger put it depends on when you quit. All that food and this wine done put something on their ass. They ready to go to school. I'm sorry. Bleep, bleep. So it's gonna say the beat. Okay. All this wine and food done put something on their ass. Until next time, we're gonna turn water into wine. Have a good evening. Day. Thank you.